A 68-year-old woman is in critical condition tonight after being struck by a bicycle while she was crossing the street on the Lower East Side. Tonight, the search for that biker who stopped to help the woman and then just took off. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon has the story. It comes like very speedy, very speedy. They don't get concerned about the, the people who walk in the, in the, across the street. Surveillance video shows a man on a bicycle heading north on Christie Street just after noon, hitting a 68-year-old woman who had stepped into the intersection at Grand Street. It's a two-way bike lane with traffic signals for everyone, and it's not clear from the video who had the right of way. But what the video does show is what the cyclist did next. He can be seen trying to pick up the injured woman and propping her against the plastic divider, then walking over to an NYPD car and saying something to the officers. They walk over to the injured woman, but then the cyclist gets back on his bike and rides away. I see the ambulance come and uh, they take the victims into the ambulance and uh, she's still she's unconscious. Restaurant manager Kwok Lung says it seemed odd that the cyclist just took off after a minimal interaction with the officers, and that seemed like the end of it, but... After one hour later, and they come back. The NYPD's collision investigation squad, which investigates fatal and serious crashes, then shut down the intersection to examine the scene and collect evidence, with the victim in critical condition. Despite more signals and lanes, the last few years have seen a steady rise in collisions with bikes injuring pedestrians and cyclists. It's actually been increasingly deadly for cyclists, with seven killed in collisions on city streets so far this year. Again, it's not clear from the video we showed you who had the green light at the moment of impact, but the NYPD's cameras should be able to determine that. It's also not clear what the cyclist said to the officers, whether he told them what really happened or if they got his name. But now, detectives would like to speak with him. The woman who was struck is still in critical condition tonight.